and welcome to today's Stradivarius spring haul. It's actually our first Stradivarius haul, I think, on this channel, and I've aimed today's video around spring capsule wardrobe pieces. Can't say that's a mouthful. So things that I think are gonna really enhance your spring wardrobe and are also pieces that are gonna be around year after year, as well as I've dusted in a few little key trends for 2023 that I'm excited to try on and see what you guys think. Um, I feel like also holding this may stop me from touching my hair because I know how much you guys hate it. <laughs> And I just think I can't help it, so I'm sorry if that's the case, this is not for you. I am very excited to get into today's video. Stradivarius isn't somewhere I shop all the time, however there is a store in Cardiff and whenever I pop up there I always pop in and I love everything. Um, so the fact that it's all online is actually really handy because we don't have a Stradivarius store in Swansea where I live. However, I will let you guys know it did take almost two weeks for the parcels to arrive. I'm like, sorry, where are they coming from? If you love any of the pieces and want to shop them, they'll all be linked down below in the description box, as well as you can find all my social media platforms and I have I am. I have also done a massive clear out of my wardrobe. So if you want to shop any of my wardrobe secondhand, pre-loved, um, a lot of it's brand new with tags though, on Vinted, then it's down below as well. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. So a key staple for spring has to be the trench coat. Now this is a little bit of a twist on the classic trench coat because it's in a beautiful sage green color. Now it's also, if you've seen, um, I think it was last year, I did a trench coat haul review of like different trench coats, how they sound, how they feel, the quality and whatnot. Some of them are really, really noisy and I just don't love them ones. This is not a noisy trench. Oh, I just realized my dishwasher's on, hang on. <laughs> That's really distractive, I'm really sorry. <laughs> that is hilarious. Okay, what I was saying about the key staple is a trench coat. Um, Obviously, they brought out these in, I feel like, nearly every colour at the minute, but one that I really love and I think is a great change from the classic beige is either a black, which I already do have one of, which is why I wanted to pick a different colour for today's video, or a sage or a navy. So sage is obviously very spring colour. So we're literally doing like the trend of spring colour with a trench, which is a spring staple. So I really, really like the idea of this. Now, there were two online and I couldn't decide between the two. So I ordered both just so I could compare them. Now, as you can see, this is a very different shade of green to this one. I say very different, but it is a different shade. It's not very different, but it is different. This is much more of like a classic sage green. And I really, really do like this one. This one is a little bit more of like a, a light green, I would say. Um, the material on both of them is really, really nice. And the price point on them is also amazing. One thing I really have to say about this brand is the pricing is really like, oh, I hate the, the term on point, but I don't really know what else to say because it is it's exactly, I feel like where it should be. Like they've, they've really put themselves in the right bracket in the market, if that makes sense. So I will let you guys know the pricing on the items. Okay, so this is the, I think the slightly lighter Sage Blazer. Um, I really like how this fits. It's a really nice, like, loose fit. Obviously, I haven't got, like, anything thick on underneath, but I think there is room for a jumper, at least, underneath, which is great. Um, it's got really nice back detail. I do prefer my trench coats a little bit longer, but I think this is more generic size and great for anyone who's not as tall as me. So I'm five foot nine. I need, I need to come and be in this video. Go. Be gone with you. Um, so yeah, I do really like this one, but for me, I won't keep it because I do like them just a little bit longer. I just feel like they look a little more expensive, but obviously if you're shorter, this is going to look longer on you. So yeah. So the lighter shade of green one, this one is $49.99. Now I think that's probably the best price trench coat I've seen on the market at that price. Um, I picked them both up in a large, I'm a UK size 12 for reference. And the other one is slightly more expensive, but not a lot. It is $55.99. This is the ever so slightly, slightly darker one. And I think this must be the more expensive one because it does have a bit more of an expensive feel to it. Like it's got a bit more detail going on, on the shoulders, on the sleeves. 
Um, the buttons are a bit more expensive. The material actually feels really lovely as well. The colour's not coming up super great. It's much more true to colour that I was holding up in the photo earlier really, because it's got a little bit dark now. Um, and this one is a slightly a little bit longer. I hope you like my socks and slipper situation. But you can just see how easy it is. Pop it over like any sort of outfit and elevate it really nicely. So even places I've seen like H&M are doing them for around £60. So they are under the price of H&M, but they're not as pricey as perhaps the Zara ones, which can go up to 100 or £120, which I think you're not really getting any better quality by buying from Zara. If you are buying from a different kind of brand, like maybe um, And Other Stories, um, which do beautiful trench coats, if you're looking to maybe invest in a trench coat rather than just um, get one for a season or two, um, then I would say to, to go to And Other Stories because they've got some absolutely beautiful ones. Um, however, you can, you know, the, the Zara ones, if price isn't an issue, are lovely, they look great. It's just you're not going to get any better quality actually than this, I don't think, for the price point. My trench that I live in was from ASOS and it was £60, I think it was last summer. So yeah, just to give you guys a bit of reference. So I'm going to the classic trench coat trend um, is faux leather this year. There's been so much like love around faux leather pieces. So I've picked up, and if you guys saw my Zara haul, I think it was not the last Zara haul, it was the January Zara haul. These two trenches are pretty much exactly the same as the £100 trenches in there, and they're £56, £59.99, so you're saving £40. So they're basically just a leather, faux leather trench. So here is the faux leather trench. Now, like I said, the one in the Zara video is a little bit longer, and I feel like it does actually make it look a little bit more expensive. This does have like a cheaper feel and fit to it than the Zara one did. Um, however, I do think it has got very nice detail on the sleeves and obviously the waistband. This one doesn't have buttons and I think the Zara one did, so I've just realised that is another little difference. However, this is a bit more fitted um, and doesn't really look like faux leather. So if you're wanting to try something a bit different but um, not really super keen on it being like standout, this is like a nice way to keep it nice and subtle, nice and neutral toned. Um, and yeah, obviously cream is like a lovely spring colour. So let me know what you guys think about that one down below. I've got one in the cream and I've got one in the black and I have to actually say I do prefer these. The only difference is the other ones were a little bit longer. That is the, oh, literally the only difference. Um, I don't think there was any other difference because I was really shocked that the other ones were £100 on Zara. I was like, like what, what am I actually paying £100 for? Because it's just a bit of material at the end of the day. They've both got that like nice back back flap <laughs> um and they've got like really nice oh i'll just hang that from my light <laughs> um and they're both finished off really lovely so yeah i really love these okay so we've got the faux leather trench now it's very easy to feel matrix vibes i feel like if this was too long however it's not it's actually a really good length um, and it's not too heavy, it's not too much of it. It's actually just really, really nicely shaped. I love the shape of the neck and um, the collar here. There's not like too much detail going on either. It's got a little bit of a back bit, but it's not like flapping out. I hate it when they like sit out. So that's a positive. And then obviously it's got this lovely waistband bit as well, which I think is gonna cinch you in really nicely. Whereas with traditional um, like trenches, I wouldn't do these at the map. I would definitely this one up. Like you, obviously you can do it up properly, but I think it looks quite nice just like um, cinched over like that. If you double fold it, it will look quite cute. And this is really, oh, I love this. This is really nice. And then it's got the same detail um, as the belt on the arms here as well. So the same buckles. Yeah, this is actually probably my favorite trench <laughs> of them all. I tried on the, the leather trench last year and I didn't pick it up when I was like, it's one of those things you, you keep thinking, oh, I wish I bought that, I wish I bought that. Um, and the one I picked up was a little bit longer and I did feel a little bit Matrix vibes in it. So maybe this is the one. Let me know what you think down below. Let me know if the faux leather trenches are something you guys love or if it's not really your vibe. And this is not just a trench coat haul, but I have one final trench. I feel like we'll just speak about it now before we, um, 
go any further on. Now I was hoping for this to be like a, re a really nice navy. However, it's a very, very bluey navy. So for me, I'm gonna go with a no. I also feel like the buttons are a little bit cheap looking on here. Okay, so I know I said I wasn't loving the colour of this blue, however I just wanted to pop it on to show you the size and the style and the fit of it. So I do think the sleeves look really nice and quite expensive. It definitely looks more expensive on. However, yeah, the colour is just, it's too bright. It's definitely throwing me off. Um, so for me, this is just not a vibe. It's not the one. And I don't also don't like the hardware that they've got on the, on the cuffs. Um, I picked up a lovely one from New Look. So I will link that over on my Instagram actually because I'm sharing a video with it this week that's in there. If you guys would like a new look haul, let me know because I found some dreamy spring, again, capsules, summer, spring, summer, wardrobe essentials from new look recently. And I'm just honestly blown away with how nice the quality is and how good the price is. I've also found the mom jeans of I'm actually wearing them right now, so in some of the cutaways you'll be able to see them, but they just fit so well, and I actually went true to size, which I never normally am able to do with a mom jean, I normally have to size up, so yeah. Let me know if a new look haul would be something you guys are interested in. It would obviously be more of like a spring capsule style wardrobe um, haul, or just some new in pieces, let me know, anyway. Um, but a lot of these trenches did come in lots of different colours, they come in the classic um, sort of cream beige colours as well, so if coloured ones aren't your vibe then definitely go and have a look at some of them. Again I'll link them down below and you'll be able to click straight through to the other ones. Moving on to a trend piece, I have picked up this bomber jacket. Now this really reminds me of a bomber jacket I actually had when me and my partner met, which was about seven years ago now, and I had a rose gold one of these. So that seven years ago is when these were last in fashion. Um, and I loved it, it was from Topshop, and it was when Topshop was still a shop itself, you know, in, you could go into Topshop. Um, and this is how it looks on. Now I have to say, it definitely transforms when you put it on. Again, I wouldn't wear it with this. Um, but it definitely does look so much better on than it does off. Off, it looks very boring. It is a little bit of a noisy one. Um, and I think probably for me, I'm really loving oversized right now. So I probably would actually size up on this one if you are liking that oversized look as well. This one I picked up in a large, so I'd have to go to an extra large, which they do go to, but that is the, the highest size they go to, which is shocking really when you think about it, isn't it? And I'm only a UK 12. I just think it's mad how like uninclusive brands are, but anywho. Um, and this one is 29.99, so it's a really nice price point. And it's like, to be honest, I do think this would be nicer if it was a little bit more khaki. It's almost like in between a beige and a khaki. It's like it doesn't really know what it wants to be. But that is quite a neutral colour, so it will go with a lot. And I do think for a price point for a trend piece is quite good as well, like £30. If you're not going to wear it next year, it's not the biggest, you know, investment to spend. But you can also still feel like you're up to date with your fashion and in with the trends if that's something that's important to you. Um, and for me, I always try and just pick something that's more neutral tone version of it so that, I don't know, I just feel like if it does go out of fashion but you still really like it, you can wear it still. You know what I mean? And short on the bomber trend when I saw them come back in, but I am warming to them now and I've seen some really nice ones actually from Zahara that I think have sold out because a lot of them have gone viral and then sold out. However, I have got a Zara order on the way and I can't remember if I did pop one in my basket on Zara or not. So we will have another Zara haul live next week. I feel like this channel's gonna turn into a Zara haul at this rate, but you guys are just really enjoying the Zara content. So I'm gonna just keep putting it out there until you tell me not to. But as always, if there's anything you guys want to see, leave, let me know down below in the comment section and I will obviously um, take that into account when I'm planning out my next videos. I do also have actually a lovely swimwear haul coming up. So if any of you guys are going on early holidays or starting to think about your summer wardrobes, we do have really cool swimwear haul coming up. So make sure you subscribe with the number button on not to miss that one. Okay, so something else that is a classic, however it is turned into a trend, is the maxi denim skirts this year. So let me know down below if you're a lover or a hater of them, if you're unsure about them yet, if you've been contemplating getting one. I have been looking for a very long time to find one I really loved. Now I did find one on Boohoo that you'll be able to see over on my Instagram. 
I think it's completely sold out now, unfortunately, <laughs> but it, it may come back into stock. So it's something to keep in option or in mind for the future. Um, and it was in like the E Crew denim color. Now this is a pair of jeans, not, but it's exactly this color. Um, however, Stradivarius had one in a really lovely light denim, a darker, oh, no, nope, that would have been really slick if I did that properly, wouldn't it? A darker denim, nope, we picked up the wrong one again. God, do you think I'm doing this on purpose? <laughs> darker denim, a light denim, a white denim, and, can you believe I bought four? A black denim. So I already have the, the E Crew sort of colour and now apparently I have all of these. You guys will have to let me know which one you think I should keep because obviously I'm not going to keep them all, but it probably will be quite tempting if they fit well. So I'll let you see how they fit on now. Okay, so we've got the darker midi skirt on now. This one I say fits the best of all the midi skirts. It's a little bit snaggy, I'm a little bit bloated right now. And I think if I wasn't, it would fit the best and it will have a bit of give for um you know as jeans do they stretch a little bit is pulling a little bit here which you may think it is a bit tight on the bum but i don't think i could size up i think it would be then too big so i've just paired it with one of the basics i can't remember if i showed this one in the video or not but i'm not going to keep this one because the as you can see the lining is not great however i do like this denim i think it's a really nice shade i think it's gonna be very easy to style um, and very wearable. So we'll just try the light one on as well and see which one we like the best and then we can choose which skirt we are going to be keeping. I feel like I do really like this one but we'll just, I guess we'll just see how the fit is on the next one. Okay, I think this one is my favourite. I can't tell. <laughs> At this point I've tried too many things on, I don't know what I like anymore and what I don't like. Um, what do we think? This one or the darker shade? Not liking this top. Obviously I've got a black brow on, but it's not flattering on the bust. So we'll just ignore that um, and have a look at the skirt. So this is actually the maxi length. Some of the other ones are midi. So some of the other ones actually go to like here that I've shared with you today. And only now I've put this one on, I've realized this one is actually maxi. And it does have like a raw hem detail on the bottom, which I quite like. I think I thought I was going to like this more than I do. And again, it is pulling like along here, which doesn't look great. But there is room, so it's just a case of I think it being new and not worn. Um, once you've sort of sat down and it wiggled around in it, I think it will stretch and give a little bit. It is completely flattening my bottom. It's not giving me any sort of <laughs> bum shape. And I could do a bit of a line on the back, but... I've got to say, my favourite one is probably my cream one that I haven't showed you. It's over on my Instagram. Um, or, the, or the dark denim. Or the black. They're my favourites. Dark denim and the black. Um, I like this, but I don't love it like I thought I was going to love it. I really love light denim for the summer. But there's just something... I like it when I look at myself, but I don't like it when I'm looking in the lens finder here. I'm just like, oh, no, it's not doing me any favours kind of thing. Okay, and this is why women's sizing is so confusing. We're wearing a size 12. Look how freaking tight it is. It's not even great. So this one for me is a no size up. But we like the split. Style. Okay, so here is number one maxi skirt. Well, they're called midi skirts, but they're definitely long. Well, I guess they are midi, aren't they? Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. This is the black one. The fit is really nice. There's actually quite a bit of room around <laughs> the waist, which is not really something you expect with denim. This is a size 12 as well, which is never normally happens to me. Um, but like, this is how I would probably just style it for an everyday look. Like I said, with one of the basics. If you have these in different colours, just pair it with any colour. It's going to look great. A pair of Birkenstocks or a pair of Converse would look really nice just to finish this off. Um, but yeah. Here's the black one. And how I would style these is a multitude of ways. And I honestly think 
Denim is such a key essential piece. It's just thinking about how you would style your denims normally. So if you'd normally wear denims with like a nice white t-shirt, you can wear that with a nice white t-shirt. If you'd wear it with like perhaps a shirt like this, you can wear it with a shirt like this. You could dress it up with a pair of heels, nice little bodysuit for a date night, blazer over your shoulders. You know, they are actually very, very versatile. I really like these styled with some like Birkenstocks and a nice little cropped cami, just for like a very casual day look. Um, and then just like a little cardigan over the top or something like that. So they can be worn day, night, very versatile, just as jeans are. And we all know what key staple jeans are to the wardrobe. So, and also what I did love about this is, is the price. These are $29.99 each. Are they all the same price? I feel like they must be. Oh, no, they're not. Why they're not, I don't know. Oh, I forgot to mention, sorry, that the um, bomber jacket was $39.99. And most of the denim skirts are $29.99. However, one of them, very randomly, is $35.99, which is the lighter denim one. Um, and the navy blue trench is $59.99, in case any of you guys loved that too. But yeah, how weird, just one of them is a little bit more expensive. Um, so, and also what I wanted to pick up. So I think there'll be a really nice trend this year. I don't know if they'll be in fashion sort of next year. So spending around 30 pound on one to me sounds like a reasonable investment into them. I haven't seen any that I'm obsessed with other than these because I really just like the plain classic versions. I don't like the ones with the ripped hem. Like there's just, there's quite a lot of variations of them and to find the plain sort of classic one that I was looking for took me a while, but I finally found them. So let me know what color you think is best and if you, should, if you think I should keep them and if you love them or not. And like I was about to say was a really nice way to, I think to style these is with some basic tops. So I picked up a massive variety, which I'm actually just gonna go through very, very quickly um, in case you're in need of some basic essentials for like I said, spring capsule wardrobes. Having little basics like this is gonna be super handy. So the first essential I would say is, for me, if you're trying to build a capsule wardrobe, stick to black and white and perhaps one color in, in almost everything because it just makes your whole wardrobe mix and match so well with each other and itself. And it just, honestly, you'll have thousands of outfits you can make out of a very small wardrobe so these tops were 5.99 each they're just the plain basic um ribbed cami tops and i think these are really versatile and perfect for spring and into summer as well so like i said just pick one up in black and white and then if you are more of a colored person maybe pick up a colored one as well like maybe I pick up a sage green, like a sky blue colored one like this, which I really like, but these are really, really nice essentials. Um, and they're a really nice shape as well. So I'll show you these on how they fit and the sizing. I picked them up in a large and yeah, like I said, I just think they're a great wardrobe essential. Another option before we're sort of like into summertime is one of these kind of style tops. Now I have quite a few of these from Zara, but I picked this one up um, in the white color. They're $15.99. I don't really love, I have to say, I don't really love the pattern on it. It's like a, oh, I can see it. I don't really like the pattern on it. So for me, I probably won't keep these, but I already do have some very similar. And what I wanted, I have them, but they're, they're quite low neck. So they're just quite, they make them a bit more summery and they're quite cropped, whereas these are a little bit longer. So these, the length on these will be really nice with high-waisted jeans. Okay, so I'm not gonna pop all of these on to show you guys the colors, but um, as you can see, it's really nice and fitted. It's really nice, like length with high-waisted jeans, um, which is exactly what I was looking for. It does look kind of tight, like I don't like it when you can see my brow line and you can. So it's, I think it is just the, the nature of the material though. It's not necessarily the size. Um, and I actually do prefer the stripe detail when it's on as opposed to when it's off. So yeah, this is it. I think it's pretty good price point for what it is, but I do think it's actually not the most flattering on. Um, but yeah, let's. So I really like the idea of that, hence why I ordered them in a few colours. Beige is also a really great alternative if you're not into white, just white and black. I think beige is just the easiest colour to style and it looks so good with everything. Um, and these are in pounds and they are euros, but I thought the euro was more expensive than the pound. Euros and 14 cents. This is, they charge more. I can't believe
that. I, I knew I was right though. So it, this costs 15 99 for me to buy. However, the tag on it says 12 99 euros. So in Spain, I'm guessing, this is only gonna cost you 12 euros 99, but it's actually cost us 18 euros. I feel completely ripped off. I didn't like these ones anyway, but like that's really naughty, isn't it? Very surprised at that. Um, but anyway, what I was saying is that they're very good for capsule wardrobes and again, it is under 20 pounds, it's not so bad, but I do actually have these, like I said, from Zara that I do prefer, I don't love the stripes. However, the fit on them is really nice and obviously the long sleeve detail for springtime is a nice alternative to like those cami sort of style tops. So another trend that is actually coming back around, it's not ever really gone anywhere I don't think, but we're seeing quite a lot of them, is the satin midi skirts. So this one's actually quite floaty um, and a little bit of a different structure to some of the ones I've got. Like the ones I've actually got are elasticated waistbands, whereas this is quite a stiff waistband with a zip up the back. Now, I love these. I think you could style them really nicely for day with like an oversized jumper and some trainers. Really, really nice way to wear them for the everyday. And then also for an evening, obviously just with some heels and maybe like one of those little tops, um, the little cropped ones. Or oh, I have picked up, um, a few different versions of some cream tops because I was just sort of in need of some, like I said, some basics, but like I wanted to go for some like elevated basics. So it's completely played at the front and then it's open back. So you'd either need to go stick on bra or no bra with this if you were going to go for this one. Um, this one again, this is 15 99 euros. It's probably 18 pound on the freaking website, isn't it? Um, anyway, I do think this is actually really nice and I probably will keep this one. Um, I just, yeah, I'm just looking for like little elevated basics. So rather than like day wear, this could be worn in the day and the night, but I feel like this is more of like an evening because it's like low back, a little bit sexy. This paired together with some white heels and a little white clutch can look gorgeous with the tan in the summer. Um, but yeah, just really beautiful. And I think these satin midi skirts, I just, I love them. I've got a black one. I just picked up a brown one from River Island. Um, and this I just think is a really beautiful tone. Okay, so I've popped on the satin midi skirt. I've got a longer top tucked into it, which is not ideal, as you can see. Um, it's not the most forgiving. <laughs> I mean, this is, not, this is not a vibe that we're going for, the belly button. Um, however, I am thinking, you no, know, it's just, I think it's the fact that I've got black pants on and they're sitting in the wrong place and making it m more unflattering more unflattering than it actually is. So imagine we didn't have this line and it wasn't creased as hell. It is cute. However, it's not my favorite. The River Island ones are much better in my personal opinion. Um, and this top is absolutely fab, perfect. This is a perfect white basic, um, key essential. Of, of, of them, I have to say, I probably do prefer the stretchier waistbands because I do suffer with like stomach problems and a little bit of IBS and whatnot so sometimes I get very bloated so if there's that stretch in it it's a game changer for me I love it but this doesn't have it so you know I'm not going to completely slate it it's not the end of the world but <laughs> if it had a stretchy waistband it would be the one and I do think they are just like a great wardrobe essential like I think I've had the black one for about four or five years um and I've mean, probably worn it every year maybe not often but I have worn it every single year. And the price of this one is £30, so £29.99, um, which I do think is around the same price point as the ones I have got, maybe even a little. So another spring essential would be to get a little white or off-white bag. I just think, obviously, black is suitable for all, to all times of year, but I think having a little white bag like this, a really cute one, you could definitely wear this in the day or the night. It's a really nice way to just elevate any little outfits, make it look a little bit extra chic. Um, yeah, and just finish off outfits nicely. I think accessories can sometimes really elevate just sort of quite basic outfits and make them look even more sort of expensive and classic. But I really like the shape of this one. I think it looks really expensive. It looks like a designer dupe. I'm not sure if it is or not, but definitely think it looks like one and it's 29.99 so under 30 pound pretty good price point um and this does come in quite a few colors as well i was tempted by the black one but as i just said i already have a few black ones and yeah i don't i just think for spring summer it's nice to have the lighter one i think this goes really nicely like blues 
um, denim, could go with the sages really nicely, goes with your white black, so it would go in your capsule wardrobe really well. I've actually flown through this, I'm really, really surprised how quickly we got through this haul. Um, this is something I'm super unsure of and I'm excited to try them on. So the cargo trend, I feel like I could not include it. It's not something I saw immediately and was like, I need, like I was with the midi maxi skirts, the denim ones. However, when I saw the black version, I thought, hmm, we could make this work. Let's try it. So I'm going to talk about them while they're on and let me know what you guys think in the comment. Okay, so the cargos are on, but only just, <laughs> like literally, <laughs> look at what it's doing to me. This is not the vibe we want. <laughs> So I definitely suggest sizing up um, just for me, like even the waist, like the legs are actually okay, which is annoying. Um, and I do actually kind of like the leg. I'm just gonna show you them on. I actually really like them on a lot more than I thought I would. Um, and I've just paired them with the plain black tank top, which you can see, like I have pulled my bra strap up a little bit, but you can wear a bra with, which I just think so many of them, because of the cuts, you can't. So this is actually a really, really great one of these if you're gonna get one. Um, because, it, yeah, look, you can't even see the bra, the bra strap. I've literally just pulled it up. But so many of them, they stick out at the side. So this is really great. I've just got like a regular stretchy, um, what they call like material bra on. Um, and I find these really great under these tops, like a really good trick because normal bras do sometimes are just difficult to, to wear underneath them. Um, but yeah, I do like the cargoes on. It's a shame they aren't fitting me super well because they make my butt look great, which is, you know, always nice. And um, yeah, I do like them more than I thought I would. The length on them is quite good as well. Like you could easily wear like a nice converse with these. Um, and then maybe like the bomber jacket on top actually as a bit of an outfit I think would be really lovely. Um, and I'll just come in to show you this neckline. I absolutely love this. This is really, really nice. This is my favorite thing from the haul so far. And then finally for me in spring, summer, something like a pair of E-Crew jeans is an absolute essential. I haven't included any blue jeans in this video, but I would get a pair of, like I said, mom jeans that I literally have on right now and live in um, as well. But for me, E-Crew is just, there's something about them that says spring, summer. I'm not saying you can't wear them any other time of the year because obviously you can. However, I just love them. I think they, they just feel so spring, summery. Like I'm just like, okay, I'm ready for spring, summer now when I've got these out. Um, so I think these are really, really nice. I have just picked up a pair from Zara, so I won't be keeping these, but these are essentially almost exactly the same. But if you want the Zara ones, they're in last week's Zara haul, and they were $32.99, and these ones are, these ones are $27.99, so actually quite a bit cheaper. Um, so I'll let you know how they fit and everything now in the cutaway. Okay, so I popped on the Eco jeans for you to see. The length on them is actually fantastic. Now these are a size 14. I normally wear a size 12. And the only place they're a little bit big is the waist. However, they fit nicely really everywhere else. Um, so yeah, I do tend to size up in these styles of jeans, which always annoys me because it just makes jean shopping even more stressful and confusing. Um, but I have come to realize that that is just the way it is with these styles. Um, I actually really liked it paired with this shirt. I'd probably undo it a little bit more or maybe wear like a white t-shirt underneath it and then it undone um, or a little tank top. And yeah, I just think they're really lovely. They're gonna look great with my pick and start, so it always makes me happy. And I think for the price that they are, yeah, they're really good, but my Zara ones do fit me a little bit better. So I'm, I'm glad that I did get them. However, the length, if anyone is five foot nine, these are the length of perfection. Um, I'll just show you the from the back as well. But, uh, for me, these are just like a key spring, summer wardrobe. And that is everything from today's Stradivarius capture wardrobe, spring trends 2020, spring trend, trends for 2023 haul. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you are new here, hit subscribe and make sure you're here for next week's video. I upload videos every Tuesday at 6.30 UK time. 
sometimes on a Wednesday. Um, but yeah, if you are notified with the, if you have the alarm bell button on, you'll be notified every time I upload so you won't miss any more of my videos. I have so many amazing videos that are already on my channel as well. So if you enjoyed today's video, then you can pop to the description box and find a new one to watch. Um, last week's Zara haul, like I said, was a dream and also the one from the start of the year, which seems like ages ago, but actually a lot of it's still online. So yeah, feel free to go and watch that. Let me know your favourite piece from today's video down below in the comment section and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.